Doing the Bray TV, get the gaffer Michael Keddy here as Darvo will run out 5 1 winners against Peter Sow at Recreation Park. Just give us your thoughts on the game, please, Mick. Aye, um, the first half is exceptional. I mean, probably my biggest performance I've seen Fraser in terms of their attacking ability. Um, Darvo's attacking ability is probably the best in the league. Um, they were very good against Fraser in the first half. Um, they were very good against so far in front, they came out in the second half and I just, I just thought we were a wee bit slack first 10-15 minutes, we can see that terrible go off a free kick outside the box, right through the wall. Uh, and, and we'll never any danger second half, but I just thought we were a bit sluggish, too many touches, and everything we done well in the first half, we just didn't do particularly well in the second half, even though we had a lot of control in the game, and in no disrespect, we probably should have won a few more goals as well into the bargain, but listen, all in all, a good performance, and it's another few points. Well that's that, it's just about getting those three points, I know we spoke at the start of the weekend stuff, uh, just about keeping keeping that focus on the league. Uh, we obviously got a, a few goals in the first half, and, and you go you take a, a hefty lead. Just how hard is it to try and keep the guys motivated? I, I take it you probably speak about that about half time, about just not going through the motions and stuff like that, you know, you want to play them right to the final whistle, but it must be difficult. Well I was always suspended there, so I wasn't in the changes at half time, nice. so, uh, but I, I might get a, I'm sure. Blair and Southfield and Xander with them reinforcing that message. The problem you've got is it's why they, you just don't want half time to come. That, that's the problem because you just know everything settles down a wee bit. Yeah, they get inside, they can reset themselves a wee bit as well, and then it's just trying to get momentum back and, and they control the game. But listen, it's almost a control the second half. We just right. lacked a wee bit of quality times in terms of the interplay. But really, the really performance, three points, uh, scored some good goals and stuff like that. So, I big Simey. Back in the yeah, team, back just to get some yeah. time on the park. So, Great to all see. in all, really good to see. So, I not not positive Saturday. Good. And uh, move on to Friday just quickly. Uh, Buffs, didn't Buffs Park Friday night. Another tough game. I know they're obviously they're, they're on a wee bit of a lull at the bottom end. They're probably in a bit of false position. Gormley's got them. Got them. Uh, he's got a good squad there. Ah, I think they did a really positive result. Uh, was it last week, I think. Uh, so, I right, listen, the squad for that quality. Uh, I don't think probably the league positions reflect for the group and the other manager either. To be fair, I'm sure when things start to settle down a wee bit, they'll work their way up in the league. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be any danger. And it'll be a really difficult game, I'm sure Gormley will have them fired up, well organised and stuff like that as well. So no, it'll be a really difficult venue to go to. Just hopefully we just carry that momentum now in. So I, but we'll look forward to it. We'll prepare, rest up in it. It's got a day's end, start to prepare and concentrate on what lies ahead next Friday night. Brilliant. Well done on the three points, should I say. We'll catch you up soon. Cheers, Cheers